What's up everybody? It is Uncle Mad here today coming to you live from my home office, my desk. Wanted today to do a little bit of a channel update, kind of go over what's going to be coming up on the channel in the immediate future while also talking about some things I've been thinking about doing with the channel and they may be more distant future 2022 and beyond type stuff. So let's get right into it. Right out of the gates. Two big trips coming up that will have major implications for the channel. Number one, we are going back, of course, to Disney World. This is a trip I've talked about a little bit on and off on the channel. I've referenced to it at several points in time. It's my first big full-on family trip to Disney World since 2005, I want to say. My mom, my dad cousin, aunt, uncle, and of course the star of the show, Jesta, me and her finally going to Walt Disney World together. It's going to be fun. It's going to be like a full-blown, full week down in Central Florida. A few days at Disney, maybe one day at Universal. Definitely going to Halloween Horror Nights one night. Going to be a fun trip. Going to have a lot of content coming out of that video. If that wasn't enough, if that wasn't going to be enough content to like push us through for vlogs for like the rest of the year, Almost right when I get back from Disney World, Jess and I are going to Mexico. Now, short of the COVID wipeout year, we've pretty much gone on a trip to either Mexico, the Dominican Republic, some type of tropical destination every year since we got married. Kind of like a little anniversary, honeymoon, reliving our best days type thing. I don't know if that sounded bad saying it that way, but we do it every year. It's always a lot of fun. It's a great relaxing vacation, whereas Disney is going to be, you know, I'm going to try to make it as relaxing as I can, but inevitably Disney is always just go, go, go. We got to do as much stuff as we can, having fun, getting up early, getting the parks early, staying until they close type of trip. Mexico is going to be very laid back, laying in the pool, laying at the beach all day, eating all we can care to eat at an all-inclusive resort. It's going to be awesome. We'll say I haven't quite decided how much content I'm going to take from that trip because, once again, it is me and Jesta's anniversary trip, so it is a bit of a romantical type thing that we do together, so definitely want to be down there and enjoying our time together, not constantly filming and vlogging. But I do want to document the resort because I've told a lot of people, a lot of friends of ours, we really enjoy going there, and I kind of want to highlight that and show why it's kind of a cool place to go. So if there's other people that are looking for that type of vacation, that type of destination to go to, we can kind of highlight what we do and show other people why they should choose the same resort. So two big trips coming up in the next month or so on the channel. A lot of content's going to be coming from those, especially the Disney trip. So expect to see a lot of that on the channel going forward throughout the remainder of the year. Between those two trips, Ongoing upcoming vlogs with National SC games. I believe there's only two home games left, and I think one of them I might be missing if I've looked at my calendar right. We will see. But if National SC can hold on and not collapse these last few weeks, we should also be getting a home playoff game, at least one. So that'll be something that we will definitely be going to if that occurs. So keep on rocking, boys in gold. Obviously, doing a little dual shirt action here, Disney and Titans. A lot more Titans games to go this season. What do we got? We've, we're two home games in? One home game in? Two home games in. So we got seven more home games to go. There'll be a vlog from each one because we've got the nine home games with the new schedule this season. Be a couple peppered in videos of other Titans content here and there throughout the season. Maybe like a mid-season report card type vlog with me and Kyle. He'll be back, of course. Got to get him on to get his latest thoughts on the Titans. Really glad right now to not be somebody who does like regular daily or weekly Titan breakdown previews vlogs because I had to go zero dark 30 from like the internet for like a day just to get the taste of that Titans Jets game out of my mouth. By the time you're seeing this, oh, this is coming out. Okay, so we've got the Jags coming up this weekend. Sorry. I'm not going to edit this one. This one's just going to be a full video of me explaining what I'm thinking about doing with the channel and what's coming up. So it's going to be a little rambly from time to time. But coming up this Sunday, as of the release of this video, Titans are playing the Jaguars, which should be a cure to what ails you type game. The Titans have rolled the Jaguars in the Derrick Henry era. The Jaguars are falling apart at the seams with the Urban Meyer butt-banging, finger-grinding situation coming out. 
who saw that one going as badly as it has. Preview thing, I'm waiting until Kyle comes back on the channel to discuss this, but I think I have the hottest of all hot takes on the Urban Meyer situation in Jacksonville. So that's something to look forward to coming up on the channel at some point in time. Tease of things to come. But anyway, yeah, plenty more Titans vlogs coming throughout the rest of the season there. Whatever we've got left of Nashville SC. And as we move into, you know, the holiday season, we're going to have Halloween vlogs, you know, decorative stuff. What are we doing for the season type videos coming. Christmas is right after that. So it'll be Christmas decorations, Christmas events, Christmas here and there. Christmas is everywhere. Is that a song or did I just make that up right now? Anyway, but between the two trips, the holidays, all the other stuff that's going to be going on throughout the rest of the year, I feel like I've pretty much got my content lined up through the end of 2021. So looking ahead into 2022, something I've been thinking a lot lately, and I started thinking this when the video series with me and Nephew P and Disney came out. When I started the channel, I started it as daily videos, five days a week, and eventually we added Catterdays on Saturday. That was a very stupid thing to do because that was, you know, I started the channel right at the top of lockdowns and pandemic, nothing going on. So trying to five, find five vlogs a week when there was literally nothing to do, nothing going on was stretching, was painful. And some of those vlogs were probably terrible because I just was filling space. So shortly into this channel, I switched to a schedule of three vlogs a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and obviously Saturday on Saturdays. A handful of live videos here and there whenever it called for it, but... I pretty much stuck to that schedule non-stop throughout the remainder of the time the channel's been going. We're going on almost 18 months of the channel now. So I'd say for about a year out of the channel, we've stuck to the three-a-week schedule of Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Saturday, a spattering of random live videos here and there. And one thing I started talk, thinking about to myself when the Nephew P videos were coming out was the schedule is kind of binding in a way. It almost kind of takes some of the fun and creativity out of making the vlogs because, you know, if you've watched all my vlogs, you probably can pick out the ones I'm thinking about. There's definitely a handful where I had a situation where I was like, I gotta have a video on Wednesday, let me go film something. And I just randomly went, you could probably tell my heart wasn't into it, that I didn't really care about what I was doing. Wasn't really interested in doing it, I was just filming something to film something to get it on the channel because I had to do a video every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I'm very weird and OCD about stuff like that. If I have a schedule, if I have things set that I want to do, I want to keep doing it and doing it that way. But with the FUP videos where I had them coming out Monday, Wednesday, Friday, then we kind of take a break from that series because there'd be like a Titans game or a National C game that I felt was more relevant to the immediate release type of thing. I'd throw that on the channel in place of one of the FUP videos. So, you know, me and FUP, I think I did five videos, maybe six from our trip, but they came out sparingly over the course of like a month and a half. Like the last Nephew P video came out, I want to say in like mid-September, the last Nephew P Disney video came out like mid-September, and our trip was in the end of July. So like, some of the, like, Disney's kind of evergreen in a lot of ways, so you can space those videos out a little bit, but like, we had the Ohana dinner review, and by the time it came come out, Ohana had completely changed their menu, got rid of that awful shrimp casserole, brought back the original shrimp, and greatly had improved from the experience we had. So it was a documentation of what Ohana was like at the time. We were there, but it was kind of already outdated by the time it, time it came out. So what I've been thinking, likely maybe starting early next year when all of the holiday Titans, Nashville SC, vacation content has kind of been pushed out, Shifting away from like a regularly scheduled vlog schedule. No more Monday, Wednesday, Friday vlogs have to come out. Don't worry about Catterday though. I will always do Catterday on Saturdays, except the one time I accidentally scheduled to come out on Sunday and didn't know till it came out on Sunday. Other than that, Catterdays stay on Saturday. That's going to be the one thing that I think I will remain on schedule with is always doing Catterday on Saturdays. But for the other videos on the channel, I'm thinking no schedule. When I have a video, I'll put it out. So if I go to the Titans game on Sunday, I'll put the Titans video out on Monday. If I go to a Nashville SC game on a Thursday, I'll put it out on a Friday. If I go to a Nashville SC game on a Monday, I'll put it out on a Tuesday. Not waiting, not staying hard and fast. Okay, this video is going to go on Monday. This video is going to go on Wednesday. It's going to be this, this, that. You know, I want to keep regular videos coming out, but I think having that schedule kind of hinders when I release stuff and also occasionally leads to me making crappy videos just because I feel like I have to have a video to fill a hole in the schedule. So... That's kind of the main thing I'm thinking for 
probably rolling out around in 2022 once we get through a lot of the content that I have planned for the next couple months. And another thing I'm thinking about doing, because maybe I won't have as many videos coming out if I'm just only doing videos that I really want to do, if I'm not sticking to a regular schedule, maybe adding in a few more live videos. Like, not necessarily like the full-on three-hour Titans live stream we did a couple weeks ago. Although that was a lot of fun. Certainly would not be dismissive of the idea of doing more of those, but definitely more live streams and stuff like that when it's called for. But also just maybe like on days where if I haven't put out a video in a few days, maybe I'll do a quick like 10 to 15 minute live stream where I'll talk about whatever. Maybe that's where if something's going on with the Titans that I want to talk about, I'll throw it on a live stream that way. If you want to tune in and watch it, if you don't, you don't have to. And you'll know right away whether it's a video you want to watch or not. If I go see a movie and I want to talk about the movie, maybe pop up on a live stream. If I, there's some TV show that I'm really into, maybe pop up on a live stream and do a quick review of the TV show. Squid Game. Everybody's going nuts about Squid Game yet right now. I haven't seen a single second of it. Maybe that's something I'll do. But yeah, that's kind of my thought. And getting away from the schedule, maybe filling in the gaps with more live videos if there's something I want to jump on the channel and talk about live. These are all just ideas that have been going through my head as the channel's been progressing and evolving and changing. But like I said, I've got a pretty packed schedule going through the remainder of calendar year 2021 with ideas and things to go ahead and vlog for this year. So I'll probably be sticking to the schedule and keeping those videos coming as it is now. So you won't see any changes anytime in the immediate future. I might start integrating a few of those live videos I talked about a little sooner rather than later. Maybe those will start popping up this year rather than next year. But I definitely think that it's time to make some changes to the channel, you know, to make sure that the content that I put out is not that anything I put out is good, but to make sure I'm just not putting out bad, crappy, boring videos that I'm just doing to make sure I have a video on a random Friday where I didn't have anything scheduled. So just some thoughts I'm having about what I want to do with the channel going forward. Wanted to share before we launch into a couple of big vacations that are going to be a lot of fun. Disney coming up first. Going to be a blast. Full week down there with the full family. It's going to be awesome. And then Mexico with Jesta. Should be Two incredible vacations, very different vacations, very rewarding and fun in their own ways. So kind of glad to have those two kind of almost back to back because it's going to be the fun, nonstop excitement vacation at Disney and then the relaxing, chill, a little bit romantic vacation in Mexico. So that's what's coming up. And then obviously, like I said, all the holiday stuff that will go through Halloween, Christmas, Thanksgiving through the rest of the year. And then, like I said, maybe the schedule changes, maybe the channel evolves starting kind of early next year once that kind of wave of content runs out, but just wanted to share what's going through my head, what I'm thinking. Feel free to throw comments down below if you have any suggestions or ideas. You know, maybe you, I don't really think anybody has a clock set to my Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule, which is another reason I'm thinking of going away from it. I don't think there's anybody who's going to be like, man, it's Wednesday at 12.15, where's Uncle Mad's video? Maybe I'm wrong. If I am wrong, let me know in the comments down below. Maybe I'll try to stick to the schedule more than I'm thinking I will right now. But ideally, I'll find stuff to do and be able to keep the videos coming. Like, the one thing I don't want to do is just get to a point where I'm just not even putting out videos. Because one of the things that's been great about the channel is I think it has forced me to do more things. I've kind of become a bit of an introvert, wasn't going out, wasn't doing as much as I used to do. And, like, the Raw video from this week. I haven't been to a wrestling show in, like, probably 10 years. And I was like, this will be fun. I can get some video for the channel. I'll make a cool vlog about it. It'll be a fun night, even though WWE kind of sucks. And that's how it worked out. So... The channel has forced me into doing stuff I probably would have uh, talked myself out of doing in the past, so it's been good in that regard, and I think it'll continue to be good in that regard, so there probably will still be, ideally, a good chunk of content coming. I don't want to ever get to a point where there's like three weeks where I just didn't put out a video, or even like one or two weeks where I didn't put out a video, so it might be a week where there's only one video, it might be a week where there's two, it might be a week where there's five. If I have a ton of stuff lined up that I did, I'm going to put it all out. I'm not going to stick to the schedule because I want to get the content out as I have it more. We'll see where it goes. This might all change by the time I get to the point where I'm ready to do the schedule, but it's what's in my head right now. It's what I'm thinking about the channel right now. Thought I'd share it. I welcome your feedback if you have any. If not, go ahead, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already so that you can see all the content I have previewed today. So you can see what changes might come following you know, this wave of the channel, the early 2022 changes that might be coming. Or it may not be coming. We'll see. Only one way to find out is subscribe. I just talked about this in another vlog. For some reason, I no longer can say the word subscribe. Subscribe to the channel 
turn the bell on for notifications so that you always get updated when I upload a new video because if I don't have a schedule, that's the only way you'll find out when a video is coming out, when it's going to drop, when it's randomly going to pop. Should not have done that. Is that the bell turned on so you get a little push notification on your phone? Uncle Matt just dropped a video where he went to the circus. Boom, I'm going to go watch that. That sounds like a fun time at the circus. As long as they're not mistreating the animals. That's all for this one. Once again, like I said, I welcome your feedback. This is just how I'm feeling about what I might be doing with the channel moving forward. But a lot of fun stuff coming one way or the other, so stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Thank Oli for being running around doing whatever he's been doing the whole time, probably making too much noise. Goodbye.